Yes, ma'am. I heard the terrible news over the radio. And you can help us with our inquiries? Yes, sir. They had a row last night. I heard Mrs. Muller screaming. Did you see Mrs. Muller come home late last night at all? No. Not at all. I did see Mr. Mahler put something in the incinerator earlier this morning, though. I told you he was our guy. Now let's get this bum down town and into a cell. Look, look, there he is now. Step away from the incinerator. Don't let him get away. And booked in a central officer. Then put him in an interview room. We'll be speaking with him later. And in the corner. Yeah. Yes, sir, detective. Is there someone you, you can call, miss? I, I don't... I You need somewhere to stay, Michelle. You have other family, grandparents, aunts or uncle? Call Aunt Helen, but she lives in acres field and... Call her. We're going to get someone down here from Juvenile Hall to talk, talk to you in the meantime. We ought to get, get some uniforms down here and clean up. Take care of the kid. That's that cop. Seems like a decent guy. Galloway. Homicide division. That's number five, six, four. We get Ray Baker and a technical service team to the house. How can I help you, detective? I need an address on a Belmont High School. Checking for you, detective. Roger, 11K. Belmont High. One. Five, seven, five, West Second Street. Thanks for your help. You drive down and you the case notes. Got it, KGPL.
I'm surprised, you know. I didn't make the husband. Always make the husband. Nine times out of ten is the closest person to the victim does the deed. God knows I wanted to kill some lives in my Lex Parsimony. What? The law of par parsimony. Occam's razor. The simplest explanation is most likely the correct one. You know, you could have said that without getting all, all liturgical. I'll try to dumb things down from now on. Appreciate you. I'll try this one. Rusty's razor. How's that? You blame the guy that's banging. Ah, of course. The famous Lex Ignoramus. Close his case. This is cold. Puts a lot of pe people away. That one. Rusty, thanks for coming. Can you blood type the shoes that we bagged and see if they're a match? Sure. It'll all be in the report, but I'm assuming you want the details now? Please. Cause of death is strangulation? Correct. Take a look at the samples on the bench. The shoe prints? Size 8. Very similar to the impressions from the Henry case. Now, who do we remember? We've got caught in bloody size eights. I think we, we have our bird. bird. Normal uses for that kind of rope. On boats, mooring lines. Correct. Although Ray says that they're sometimes used as bell ropes in churches. So are we looking for a, a sailor or a minister? 
minister? Well, in my experience, sailors seem to have the greater libido. Was Mrs. Muller criminally attacked? No external or internal traces of semen. Anything else comes up, you let us know. We've got to nail this guy. Okay, if you're finished jawing, we need to get moving. Operator, give, give me dispatch. Putting you through now. Cole Phelps, batch 1247. Any messages for me? Yes, Detective. A green 1946 coupe registered to Mrs. Hugo Muller has been found in the parking lot adjoining the Belmont High School in Plainfield. Captain Donnelly wants you to head down there immediately to take this. Cool janitor statement. Thanks, man.